All right, New Walk, man, we just want to give you an update, Pastor Joe and I, about where we are as a church. We had our first live gathering session this last week, five different times together, and it was pretty fun, and it was nice to see some people that were able to come. We know not everybody could, but Joe, uh, right in the middle of the week, we got hit with something from our governor saying, hey, we're ready to move to phase two for our state, mm -hmm. and we're not necessarily following that, but it will allow us to make a little bit of an adjustment. Yeah, like we've done all along, Pastor Gary, we, we've uh, been tracking with what the government is recommending and allowing and really staying on the conservative end of that just because we think that's what's best and, and safest for our church. So this week, the state allowed venues like ours to open up to 50%. That was great. Uh, we actually opened this week into about 30% capacity and we'll continue to increase that to allow more and more people to come in and to worship together safely. Yeah, you know, we had some people that uh, were wearing masks, mm -hmm. uh, but not as many. We, we had uh, quite a few that, that weren't, but uh, it is still uh, recommended. It's still your your call. And really, to mm -hmm. uh, if you feel that need to have that, that protection uh, for yourself, uh, that's available. Mm -hmm. But uh, our protocols, whether we're at 30% or 50% mm -hmm. capacity, uh, we have been preparing mm -hmm for 50% capacity as a church now for many, many weeks internally. Yes. So we're not, we're gonna have a lot in place. We, we are, you know, we've been preparing through phase one, phase two and phase three. So we have actually some future preparations that we were talking about even this morning to be ready for phase three. But right now we are making sure that we are, are making sure we have hand sanitizer out. We have directional signs on the floor, uh, certain, areas of our volunteers are wearing masks to make sure that they are not breathing on on folks if they have close proximity to them and like you said some of our folks came in masks this week and some chose not to it was we're really allowing other people to make that decision for themselves now then you uh we of course would love to have you being a part of our weekend or our, our five live experiences if you're able to uh, this is um, a time where, you know, again, people are making their own choices. But I want to be clear, when you come to our service, you have a touchless, if that's what you want, a completely touchless experience from the time you walk in, walk out with distancing. Mm -hmm. I, I want to challenge some of you. Some of you uh, are, you, you know, wondering whether it's safe or not, you, but you're going to restaurants and you're going to gyms and you're going to retail stores. And I want to say New Walk's preparation level is beyond those places. Yes. So if you find those places safe, I think you're going to find what we're doing at New Walk safe. But again, if you're not ready and if health is not there for you, uh, for health concerns, people in your home that, that are dealing with health issues, we totally understand. And so keep doing the online thing with us mm -hmm. and being a part of this one community, either in person or online.